Okay, we'll start with the Michael Chandler and Dustin Poirier. Fight of the night. Yeah, fight of the night. That, that was a banger. Easily. Honestly, Dana White, <laughs> Got I gotta his... give him his credit because this was the best card I've seen so far this year, honestly. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that I, shit was three, fast. Yeah. All three of the main events, like the, the main bangers. fights leading up to the main events were great. Mm-hmm. I liked Poirier versus Chandler. I yep. liked Whaley Zhang. Whaley Zhang versus um, Esparza. And I liked the main event with Adesanya in um, Perea because all three fights were competitive and they were going at it. The well, Chandler fight, though, I give it fight of the night. Yeah, no, that, that was definitely fight of the night. I, I think they got the bonus, too. But yeah, the thing was with Chandler, though, low key, though, he's entertaining, but this motherfucker's gonna like. He's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> he gasses nuts. himself. Yeah, that's he's, what he it like is. He does, he, he does too much. Like, he was picking up Poirier and just trying to slam no, him. No, but I love watching that yeah, shit. Yeah, but that's what that got him into that that He's trying to finish it. That he don't care. Crazy. But he got him into a cho- He got choked out I because of it. I love that shit. I love when people go, don't care, and they just trying to finish the fight. I don't want to see win by points. I want to see motherfucker sleep. He's doing <laughs> a little too much. Yeah. That, he's no, but like, it's entertaining, though. This shit's entertaining, though. Pure entertainment. That's what it's about. It's That's pure. You Yo, Dana White, give him his full check, though, even if he loses. <laughs> but do you think, um, just as far as the Chandler situation, because now he has a string of really good losses. Right. Like, he, he lost to Oliveira. He lost to, what was it Whitaker? No, no, he lost to Oliveira. He lost to uh, Gaethje. Gaethje, Justin Gaethje. And then he lost to Poirier. Yeah, now he, be- Poirier. he beat Dan Hooker and uh, Ferguson. And I was thinking about this. You mentioned Chandler. I, I sat and thought about it. Give him Connor. McGregor? Yes. You think Connor's really trying to come back to the UFC? Uh, I think Dana White's gonna get him give him the bag. He's gonna I He's think, a moneymaker. I think at this point you're gonna have to. You know what Connor I mean? Connor Chandler. That's gonna be explosive ass fight. I like I like Connor, but I feel like Connor's capping. He got so it much certainly money. sounds good. He got so much money now. I just don't think his motivation will be there like it was when he was in his prime. No, yeah. definitely the, the that, hunger's definitely no, no, I agree with you. Uh, that's definitely a concern a lot of people say. Well, it's you know? just like, what does he have to like really like go balls to the wall for? Like when you were trying to make a name when he was originally in the UFC, it was like, you know, he didn't have that big payday. But with the his um, was it his whiskey, whiskey and shit? He got like eight hundred mil from that shit. Yeah, he's he's balling. He's, he's rich. chilling. Yeah, he has, yo, he has a Lamborghini yacht. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got kids and shit. Like, I don't oh, know chill, whatever bro. that is. Bro, this, this dude, he's rich. rich. people shit. You know, what, what, what's that saying? Uh, it's hard to get out of bed to run for a fight when you're sleeping in silk, je- uh, silk sheets. Yeah. You know? Oh. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like once you got silk bread, pajamas. you know? <laughs> Who do you think Poirier is going to fight now that he's uh, Probably Benil Dariush. Dariush? Oh, uh, yeah, probably Dariush for the title. I mean, the no more contender fight. That's what I think. Where does Chandler go from here now since he's lost? Probably Connor. Just Connor? Yeah, because I, I, he's a big name. Connor's a big name. That's what I think. I think uh, I think for Dana, that'll, that'll be smart. Big yeah, money, money-wise. Big money card. Mm. I mean, do that shit next summer, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So who's Oliveira going to fight then? I'm What's not sure. next chapter? I heard Fiziev. He, he's nasty. He's just like, I don't know what country he's from. He's this crazy-ass multi fighter. But um, I don't know. Oliveira said that he was going to uh, take some time off. Hey, what about um Kamza? I'm gonna fuck you. What, what, oh my boy on? Kamza, this dude's <laughs> insane, bro. This dude said he's fighting he, everybody. Yeah, he said he, he wanted two fights, didn't he? Yeah, in like two different weight classes. He, I, I you think want he's a fight Kobe. Match, he's he, he's two fight, people <laughs> at the same time. He's <laughs> fighting Kobe Covington. Oh, that'll be a good fight. That's, that's oh, a great fight. Eat Kobe a lot. Oh, that, that's a good fight because Kobe's really good wrestler. So I think it's he gonna be is. A, that shit. Yeah, it's gonna be a stand up fight. You think uh good. you think Kamza versus uh Masvidal would you think that would be a good fight? No, oh, he no. will destroy he him. He's gonna <laughs> kill him, bro. What? I still want to see it Bro, what? Yo, I'm still trying to see Masvidal versus fucking Nate Diaz or some shit. Yeah, right. That would be a good fight. Yeah, but nah, Marvel and Kamza, that's hilarious. No, actually, Yo, he's going to turn into a Cuban sure. sandwich. Nah. <laughs> that shit will last probably like two Dana, minutes. Dana, oh, crazy. Dana White still owes. us. I need to see Nate Diaz versus Kamza just to get it out of my mind, bro. Because <laughs> he was in rare form when he fought Ferguson. Yeah, right. He was that really fight, bad slow. Bro, he, he if he did that versus Hamza, Hamza would have ate him a lot. Oh, Because Kamza would have came rushing in and he would have did one of them leaning on the, the cage sidekicks and folded his shit. Yeah, I- Sounds good. Oh, did you see a uh, uh, fucking Nate Diaz punching Dylan Dennis? You guys know I Dylan Dennis? I did see that. I did see that. He's like, uh, he's like a, tr- 
<laughs> I guess he's like a troll, I guess, because like he was he was one of Conor McGregor's boys, whatever. Yeah. And um, long story short, like he's only known for talking mad shit to everybody. Him and KSI got into it too. Oh shit! Um, like right. fucking, I don't know. He's some like jujitsu dude, but I, I guess Nate Diaz slapped one of his boys and shit. I don't Woo! Know. Yo, these yo, wow. that's one thing. Do not talk shit about UFC fighters because they're little, they're little stupid. You know, <laughs> 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 you know they're little. <laughs> One of them Stockton slaps. You know, they're a little crazy. Right, Stockton slaps. You see Hamza, yeah. when Islam won, he just punches somebody in yeah, the crowd. Yeah, bro, fighting the... Yo, was that video was God. nuts. Who's um, the UFC fighter when he won? He literally picked up his trainer and fucking slammed the shit out of him. Oh, I seen that, yeah. He, like, picked him up and slammed him. And I was like, bro, how oh, is that a celebration? Oh, yeah, I think it was the, uh, Lee Jin Yang or whatever. Yeah. Hey, so let's go back to that Adesanya fight, right? Yeah. So, again, like I said, I put money on Adesanya... Because I was fucking super, super excited. I thought he was about to fucking kill this shit. Wrong. But, hey, you know so what? For the, he was winning. But, so wrong. Bro, if it went by like, by like, you know, by he the He was rounds, winning until he ate that left. Yeah. And then so he, it was, it went down that left. fast. And you yeah. saw that uppercut coming. If the ref didn't stop it, it was slump city. Bro, man. if the ref didn't stop it, I, I know, I know. Brain damage. It, it looked, it looked like. Izzy sad his shit about him. He said, yeah, I had my wits with me. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro. <laughs> if Let the ref didn't it. stop it, he was going to hit the ground. Nah, nah, it was a good stoppage. It was a good stoppage. Let me put it like this. Adesanya was winning the fight by points. Mm-hmm. But I don't fucking For want sure. you. I don't want you to fucking win the fight by points. I want you to finish the Bro, dude. he was piecing him up, bro. He was piecing yeah. him up, but he wasn't finishing him. He almost dude, if he had Pray like if he had ten goes. more seconds in the first round. I, yeah, nah, that, that fight was going to a finish either way. Bro, ten, ten more seconds in the first round. Oh yeah, well he got him with bro, that clean the hit. The first yeah. round came and went. He recovered well. He recovered well. Mm-hmm. Easy. Bro, what I'm trying to say, it looked he re- looked real stoic. Like I'm just, what it looked like is Perea, after the first round, he was getting a feel for how much power. Adesanya was putting behind his strikes. I feel like the first, yeah, the first two rounds, he, they were he, both he was both like, each other out. No, no, kinda, and, no, but like as the fight progressed, I was like, Freya doesn't look like he's scared of Adesanya's power, really. Like his know? kicks probably hurt like a bitch. Yeah. But like his punches, he was throwing mad of them, and those strikes were hitting him clean. But it was like uh, Perea just kept coming forward. No, I'll be honest. I think. Yeah, because that's how you have to fight. That's how you got to fight, yeah. my boy. No, yeah, but you like, got to bring it but to But that's him. what I'm saying. But it, like, it, if a fighter's really like able to hurt you, like you're not going to be just pushing forward. Like Perea was coming forward, and just his punches when they were landing, you could tell Adesanya was like, fuck, I can't get hit with no, too many bro, of them. The thing is, you got power, no, the dude. Perea is a genetic freak. That motherfucker's huge. That dude he's humongous. looks like yeah. a monster. Yo, that- he's big as fuck. He's the first person that I've seen recently that's been in a fight with Adesanya and actually like kind of sized up like, in the same like height, bro. He's like, bigger. He's, bro, he's bigger like that. Like he yeah. looked. He looked like yo, he's his like, hands. If you watch, looks like a super. Yo, he, he he looks like ge- he's crazy. a generational talent, though. Nah, in fact, I'm used Bullshit. to I'm used to Adesanya having the height and reach advantage and shit, and I'm watching Prey over here just like <laughs> throw punches from halfway across the fucking octagon, and I'm like, bro, this dude's a fucking and then monster, bitch, and he throwing stones like, too, bro. Facts. That that yo, that's his nickname, Hands of Stone. Yo, really? you know, you yeah. know, it was crazy though. That was a uh, uh, well. Since I've been watching UFC, I think that was uh, Adesanya's most aggressive fight that I've seen him. You know what I mean? Well, like with yeah. the strikes and all that shit. I, he had he to. Plays he, super yeah, passive. I was just about to say that he, he had, had to. to. He had a chip on his shoulder. I could tell. I, I could tell he wanted oh, to boy, finish. Well, coming well, for d- him. Definitely that, and also too, bro. When someone's putting the pressure on you, you can't. If your back's against the cage, you can't, yeah. and this dude swinging, Back, you know? fucking haymakers and shit, bro. That's you know, so crazy. I don't know. That's why that's why I respect the UFC because they know what the fuck they're doing. They fast track Perea because they know it's gonna be a great fight between Adesanya and Perea. That's why they fast track them. You know is, what I'm saying? Is Perea um, Adesanya's kryptonite? Is it official now? Yeah, I you got to so. run it back yeah. one more time. I think so. Nah, run it back one more time. Run it back one no, more no, time. No, no, yeah, you could run time, it back, but I think it's, 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 it's similar to Whitaker and Adesanya because uh, Whitaker destroys everybody in the division. It smokes everybody. But Adesanya is his kryptonite. But like, you know, so so parade. Similar story, you know. Right. Yeah, that so, could you be know, it. It's that like it, what is it called MMA match. Just because you can beat somebody doesn't mean it's because someone. Let's say two people fight, they beat right, each other, right. they beat each other. 
Whatever. Whatever. Look up the MMA math. Yeah, 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 look up yeah. MMA math. I don't want to explain that shit. I know Whitaker's hype. I know Whitaker's hype and shit because he's like, fuck, finally. Adesanya lost that shit. No, he's like, he's like, where did Adesanya lost? Bro, oh, everyone. I gotta in fight the, the statue. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I gotta fight the statue Facts, now. But now he's gonna, you gotta fight this. Nah, he's gonna do all wrestling. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna all try. Bro, all crotch diving. That's what he's doing. Yeah, now, nah, but Whitaker's fast as fuck, though. Hey, Marco, let me ask you this, right? If they don't give, you know, Adesanya and Perea part two, well, you know, in the UFC. Yeah. Um, who do you think they give? Uh, Probably Whitaker. Whitaker's Whitaker. been smoking everybody in the division. So he I was mean, the number one contender, right? Cause yeah. I was texting you. Yeah. 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 Wh- Wh- Whitaker Whitaker's nice. Who's, uh, who's the contender blue? Whitaker. Uh, I think Martin Vittori. Oh, yeah. Vittori. You don't think Vittori? Oh, hell fight? no. Whitaker destroyed Vittori. And Adesanya beat Vittori twice. Vittori. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. V- Vittori could actually be. I think he could actually beat Pereira. Yeah. I like, think he got actually can't. But I don't, don't want to see him as a champ. That's going to sell no tickets. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vittori. I fuck with you, bro. I fuck nah, with you. Nah. He was like, yo, he's not gonna sell no tickets. He got no fucking hype. That he ain't got sellable. No media presence. <laughs> but yeah, um, 